Welcome to the MPS Minute. We're here with Craig Hawkins, high school counselor, to talk about the high school student scheduling process. Well, tell us about scheduling classes for high school students. How does that happen? Well, we really, in the counseling departments, we look at it as kind of a team approach. Uh, we use parents, students, counselors, teachers, all of us work together to make sure that we meet the needs of the students and their goals, uh, their career development goals, uh, their college aspirations. We try to mix all of that in to getting the best opportunities for students. Now, how would students and their families learn about the different classes that are available? Well, we have a lot of resources for parents. Uh, first off, we have the What's Next book, which is a document that parents can access on the MPS website, and it gives a complete description of all the courses that are available for high school students. It tells the prerequisites, gives a short description of the classes, uh, tells the grade level, and so that's something that parents can access and really get an idea of what the offerings are for their students. So going to the school's websites, the district website, mm -hmm. and looking up what next would be a great place for families to start, right, it sounds like. Right. Now tell us a little bit about uh, eighth grade students who are planning for high school and are going to be signing up soon. Sure. What is that like? Well, we'll go into the middle schools in the first week of January when we get back from Christmas break, and we'll meet with all of the kids uh, in their classes and give a complete description of all the courses that are available for ninth grade students. And then, you know, we can answer questions, uh, we can cover all the areas that students want to know about. And then they'll be able to take that information home and they'll have selection sheets and their parents can look over that as well. And then they'll come into the computer lab and they'll actually put those classes in the computer and uh, parents can see that as well. And then the um, middle school counselors and us will sit down with kids and we'll have another day where we go over their educational development plan. And all the uh, secondary students in middle public schools have an educational development plan. And what that is, is it's a four-year plan that students can revise and adjust as they go through their years. And we can look at electives that they have, core classes, and if they begin to get a little more idea of what they want in their career areas, we can adjust their electives for that, and even their core classes for that goal of what is their plan when they get out of high school. So that's also very helpful for those middle school kids. Um, so we'll do that with them, and then hopefully that'll help them feel a little more comfortable sure. about the courses that they pick, and the parents too. So really, it sounds like with the eighth graders, it's not just about signing up for next year's ninth grade classes, right. but thinking about the four-year plan, ninth through twelfth grade. Right. And the process you've described, uh, whether it's for current eighth graders or current high school students, is the same no matter what school. Right. So whether they're at uh, Central, Jefferson, or Northeast for middle school, or at at Dollar Midland High for high school, it's the same process at every building. Right, we do that with all the kids in, in every building, and that way we have the consistency that we're looking for. Absolutely. And all those options are available to every student. So it sounds like parents should be looking for, uh, especially the eighth grade parents, should be looking for information about signing up for classes and then uh, the educational development plan, and those are the places they can impact you know, what classes their children will be taking exactly. as they move into high school. Great. Well, thank you very much for that important information about high school student scheduling. Uh, we appreciate it. Yep, you're welcome. All right.